ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸੰਜੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਰਸ਼ਦੀਪ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਤਨਾਗ੍ਰਸਤ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਤੇ ਪਏ ਬੋਝ ਨੂੰ ਦੂਰ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਨਵੀਆਂ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਭਰਤੀ ਕਰਨ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਖਲਾਈ ਦੇਣ ਲਈ ਨਵੇਂ ਉਪਾਵਾਂ ਦਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਈਬੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਨਵੇਂ ਉਪਾਵਾਂ ਤਹਿਤ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿਖਲਾਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਰਕ ਫੋਰਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਅੰਤਰਰਾਸ਼ਟਰੀ ਪੱਧਰ ਤੇ ਸਿਖਲਾਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਵਿੱਤੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਵੇਗੀ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿਖਲਾਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਅਰਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਮੁਲਾਂਕਣ ਅਤੇ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਖਰਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਵਰ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਸਰਕਾਰ 4000 ਡਾਲਰ ਤੱਕ ਦੀ ਵਿੱਤੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਦੇਵੇਗੀ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਜੇ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਪੇਸ਼ੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੁੜ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਕਿਸੇ ਵਾਧੂ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ 10000 ਡਾਲਰ ਤੱਕ ਦੇ ਵਜੀਫਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਇੰਤਜ਼ਾਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਸਿਖਲਾਈ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਨਰਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਲਾਇਸੈਂਸਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰਕਿਰਿਆ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਚਾਰੂ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਸੂਬੇ ਨੇ 1.3 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਖਰਚ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਯੋਜਨਾ ਉਲੀਕੀ ਹੈ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਈਬੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਉਦੇਸ਼ ਰਜਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਉਡੀਕ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀ ਮਿਆਦ ਨੂੰ ਮੌਜੂਦਾ 3 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਘਟਾ ਕੇ 4 ਤੋਂ 9 ਮਹੀਨਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿਚਕਾਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਹੀਅਰ ਟੁਡੇ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਗੋਲ and a common goal we want to make sure that every british columbian gets the health services that they need uh and uh, it's as simple as that uh, it's a key focus of uh, my plan for the first 100 days in office and as we start a new year uh we remain focused i remain focused on delivering those results that people can see and feel and touch and experience in their lives uh within the first 50 days british columbians saw us take action on public safety uh making communities safer by tackling those repeat offenders uh, those violent offenders making sure that they remain in custody and off the streets uh we're tackling the housing crisis uh opening up uh uh units for rent uh that were previously barred from rental by unfair rules making sure that families uh can stay in their homes and not be evicted by unfair rules and we're making sure that our public health care system remains strong today and for generations to come we're building new hospitals opening new urgent primary care centers we're building the first new medical school in generations in western canada delivering a new compensation deal for doctors bringing 4600 healthcare workers back into the public sector and hiring thousands of nurses but we need to do more hiring and training more nurses is part of our own ongoing work to make sure that healthcare is accessible to all british columbians and still we know the demand for the skills and expertise that nurses bring to the job every day has never been more in demand in our healthcare system. There are high skilled and experienced nurses who want to get to work in our system now but are facing barriers preventing them from delivering the services that British Columbians need. We need to fix that. Just as we made changes for internationally trained doctors, we need to do the same for nurses. And that's why we're here today. I'm pleased to announce new supports and a faster assessment pathway that will get more nurses working in BC's healthcare system faster. For nurses returning to practice, there will be help with the costs of re-entering the workforce. These are nurses who may have taken a break from practice for any number of reasons and want to come back but are facing financial or other barriers to coming back. We want to support them in coming back to work. This includes application and assessment fee support along with travel expenses support. Additionally, bursaries of up to $10,000 available for any additional education that those nurses need who are coming back to practice in order to be able to get to work. For internationally trained nurses, we've committed $1.3 million to set up a new pathway to streamline the licensing process. This will help our partners, the BC College of Nurses and Midwives and the Nursing Community Assessment Service assess more applications faster. Now, what is that going to mean in real terms for British Columbians? Well, right now, candidates in this scenario are waiting three years to be granted registration. Our goal is to bring it down with these reforms to between four to nine months. We also want to reduce any potential financial barriers. So we had grants for internationally educated nurses, but those nurses had to pay those grants up front and then be reimbursed later. So now our government will be covering over $3700 up front in application and assessment fees for internationally trained nurses. So that that application fee does not stand in the way of them practicing in British Columbia. The bottom line is this, whether a nurse was trained in our province or not, we're ready to welcome those who are ready to care for British Columbians.
Today's announcement continues our ongoing work to support more internationally educated nurses in British Columbia. Some numbers. Since April 2022, a total of 5,500 nurses have said that they want to work in BC. 2,000 are in the registration and assessment process right now. More than 90% of applications were received after our government's initial actions to welcome internationally educated nurses into our healthcare system. There is still much work, much work ahead of us, but I'm optimistic about the impact that these changes will have in a very real way for British Columbians. Now, I know that there are some who believe the way to fix our healthcare system is to abandon the principles of universal access to Medicare. They believe that the wealthiest should be able to buy their way to the front of the line, thinking that that somehow solves the line. It doesn't. It just changes who's at the front of the line. We can't cut funding and expect more doctors and nurses to show up. British Columbians couldn't afford that old approach to healthcare five years ago when they changed governments, and they sure can't afford it now. Everyone in BC deserves the absolute best in healthcare, no matter where you live or how much money you have in your bank account. That's my vision for British Columbia, and I know it's British Columbians' vision for how our province should work. A province where you can build a good life and know your family is taken care of. Thank you. Nursing lady Nami Sahayta bare koshna lady Harvinder Sandhu senior sevama ate lamme samay di dekpa lady sansdi skatter ne apna tajarba vidasya jo ki nurse healthcare worker reh chukke han ona ne isnu ek vadiya faisla karar ditta. Today's announcement has a great meaning for me. Before entering into public life, I had the honor uh, of serving as a registered nurse for almost nearly two decades in BC, first in Terrace and then Vernon. So the writing of Vernon Monashi, which I represent. I am also an internationally educated nurse. And at the time people, when asked me, when I made my way uh, to become patient care coordinator and a lot of people asked me, oh, this is really encouraging to see you uh, doing such a good job. I said, don't ask me how I got here. It took me many years and uh, uh, several years and many tears, um, but now we're changing that. We're changing that for the good. Uh, so, you know, bringing, working in Northern Health Authority in rural communities and then later in the Okanagan, working in various healthcare settings from acute care to community to long-term, I got to meet many, many people from different walks of lives, also to meet with many healthcare workers. Every day, my colleagues, the nurses of British Columbia, take care of their patients with great skills, compassion, and knowledge. While they deliver care with precision, they also embody a sense of hope and possibility which make the demanding work of healthcare meaningful. Three years of pandemic have pre uh, presented unprecedented challenges for most people, but our nurses and all our healthcare workers, it continue to, um, they continue to work undeterred and with so much hope and possibility and you know the positivity they deliver excellent care every single day despite the challenges they have been facing nurses also face life decisions too and some of them have chosen uh, left nursing to pursue other goals but when given the opportunity to do this rewarding work we need to support them they say once a nurse is always a nurse we may take leave or we may retire, but once we become nurses, nobody can take that nurse out of us. And that is why we're gathered here today. As you heard from our premier, we are going to support Canadian trained nurses in BC who want to return to practice by removing some financial barriers. This will help them to get reassessed and trained faster so they can contribute to, to the public health service more quickly. This step our government takes is incredible, significant, and most direct. By supporting our nurses, more patients in British Columbia will have will benefit. I am also proud that our province has one of the most diverse populations in Canada, and there are many reasons uh, internationally educated nurses may want to work here. The financial support we're announcing today for internationally educated nurses to help 
uh, for them to become gain accreditation quickly will be more reasons why they will choose British Columbia. Besides, it is a beautiful province and it also has a wonderful diverse population. We have a great healthcare system that value and respect nurses, a system that is equitable and accessible for all British Columbians. These value added incentives are important factors to new Canadians as they build their lives in our province. By streamlining the registration process and uh, by providing bursaries for skill upgrades, internationally educated nurses can now work in their trained professions faster. Moving to a, difficult, a different country is difficult as it is, but knowing that the government is here to set us up for success, we will in return build a stronger BC together. As a nurse, it is reassuring, and I can, I'm sure um, my MLA uh, chat, my colleague can attest to that. It is incredibly reassuring to have a government, to have health minister who works sincerely and have premier and government. Uh, we've seen them working diligently with sincerity, with the dedication, not only to support healthcare workers, but also to strengthen our uh, healthcare system in general. BC College of Nurses and Midwives, the CEO, Cynthia Johnson, ne keha si chaante haan ki saade mulk vich nami aai loka vaaste sehat parnali vich career shuru karna vadeere chanoti puran ho sakhda hai. Asi jantak surakhya naal samjho ta ki te bina bine karandi sahi nursing po mika vich jald to jald registration हासिल करने में मदद करनी चाहते हैं उन्होंने अंतरराष्ट्रीय नर्सिज लौजूदा तीन साल के उड़ीक समय में अस्वीकार योग आख्या सूबह सरकार ने नवंबर में डॉक्टर बाबत भी अजिहा ही ऐलान किया उदों ए बी ने कहा कि सरकार ने मार्च दो हज़ार चौबी तक प्रैक्टिस रैडी असैसमेंट प्रोग्राम के सीटों की गिनती में तीन गुना कर योजना बनाई है The BC College of Nurses and Midwives regulates more than सिक्सटी एट Currently, 6,308 of them are internationally educated nurses. We know the journey to securing a career in the health professions can be more challenging for those who are new to our country. The new registration process announced today aims to reduce the time it takes to become registered by increasing efficiency, reducing costs, and focusing on the most important elements that will allow an individual to demonstrate their ability to practice competently and safely in British Columbia's strained healthcare system. For many years, the college has been working with the Nursing Community Assessment Service, and my colleague Rita Parikh is here today. The service aims to develop and implement, and has developed and implemented, a performance-based assessment process that allows internationally educated nurses to show us what they know what they can do and how prepared they are to work in our current healthcare system. Over time, as a regulator, we've moved away from spending time reviewing documentation, describing an applicant's educational credential and experience. And even though that is important, it is not the sole contributor to their skills as a nurse. The new NCAS triple track assessment and our new improved IEN pathway application process is the culmination of significant efforts to challenge the status quo. We want to help applicants to gain registration in the right nursing role as quickly as possible, ensuring that the time that it takes for them to enter our country and gain good, reasonable employment is significantly reduced. And as you heard the Premier say, it's taking up to three years for individuals to get through the process now. That's not acceptable. ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੰਤਰਰਾਸ਼ਟਰੀ ਪੱਧਰ ਤੇ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਬੀਸੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਲਾਇਸੈਂਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਤਹਿਤ ਡਾਕਟਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਪਿੰਡੂ ਅਤੇ ਸ਼ਹਿਰੀ ਇਲਾਕਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵਧੇਰੇ ਡਾਕਟਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਡਾਕਟਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਘੱਟੋ ਘੱਟ 3 ਸਾਲ ਲਈ ਇਸ ਪਲੇਸਮੈਂਟ ਤੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੂਬੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਐਮਰਜੈਂਸੀ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੈਂਟਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਵੀ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕੋਵਿਡ-19 ਦੇ ਮਾਮਲਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਭਾਵਿਤ ਵਾਧੇ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਬੰਧਨ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਸਥਾਪਿਤ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਸਨ ਹੈਲਥ ਕੇਅਰ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੀ ਮੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਵਧੇਰੇ ਦੇਖਦਿਆਂ ਹੋਇਆਂ ਇਹ ਫੈਸਲੇ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਨਰਸਿਸ ਦੀ ਘਾਟ ਡਾਕਟਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਘਾਟ ਨੂੰ ਪੂਰਾ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਸੂਬੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਹ
ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਅਪਡੇਟ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੱਕ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ 